Why are peacocks not kept as pets? If you've ever visited the zoo or stumbled upon a peacock's glamorous display at some botanical garden, the idea of having one of those living lawn ornaments might have fluttered through your mind. And why not? Their plumage is the avian equivalent of a Vegas showgirl, full of color, glitz, and eye-popping beauty. Well, there's a peck of a good reason you don't see them strutting around the typical Portland backyard or any backyard for that matter. First off, peacocks, technically the males are peacocks and the females peahens together their peafowl, are about as subtle as a Mardi Gras parade. Their calls can be heard up to five miles away. Imagine trying to enjoy a little peace on your porch and your pet decides it's time for a loud soliloquy. Not exactly music to the neighbor's ears. Now from a space perspective, these are birds that love their legroom. They're not like your typical Fido or Kitty, content with a cozy corner or a sunny windowsill. Peafowl need space to roam, fly, and do their peacock strut, ideally across several acres of land. Not exactly practical or fair in a regular-sized backyard, let alone an apartment. Also, peafowl are social creatures and do best in groups. Solo peacocks can become stressed, and that can lead to a bunch of issues. The social dynamic of keeping a proper pea flock adds another layer of complexity for the potential peacock proprietor. And boy, do they know how to redecorate your garden with a little nitrogen-rich fertilizer. By that, I mean they poop, a lot and everywhere. Unlike cats or even dogs that can be trained to do their business in certain areas, peafowl aren't down with that program. Hence, they can lay down a carpet of waste that would make your eco-friendly Portland heart wilt. Lastly is diet. These birds can't live on bird seed in good intentions. They require a varied diet that includes insects and small reptiles alongside grains, which means you'd have to put more thought into their meals than just tossing a few seeds out the back door. While they can be kept as pets, the reality is that peacocks require a ton of work, space, and tolerance that most homes, especially urban and suburban ones, are ill-equipped to provide. And hey, let's face it, not all that glitters is gold. Sometimes it's just a pile of really fancy feathers paired with a headache. So unless you own a vast ranch out in the Oregon countryside, it might be best to leave the peacocks to strut their stuff in the wild or confined to well-managed parks where we can all enjoy their displays at a safe and ear-pleasing distance.